and I think... I think but let me take you down the rabbit hole a little bit, sure. okay? So you already said that the world is quantum you know, or, mm -hmm. or, you know, abstract, mathematical. Um, when I look at a brain, the brain itself mm -hmm. is a quantum object, although I perceive it as a physical object. Mm -hmm. um, when I talk to physicalists, you know, those who have a physicalist ontology, yes. they say the mind is what the brain does. Mm -hmm. When I talk to non-dual uh, idealists, they say the brain is what the mind does. Yeah. And then uh, when I go deeper, they both agree that the brain and mind are at a fundamental level the same thing. Mm -hmm. So my question is, at <laughs> that fundamental level where brain and mind become one, mm -hmm. is that physical or is it non-physical? I certainly feel, I'm a strong believer in unity, that, that our universe is not some sort of schizophrenic entity that has two separate ways of doing things that don't fit together. I think the, our universe works in one way. We humans have still to figure out what that way is. And there are, then there's different viewpoints, the subjective way of perceiving it, on the outside world of, 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 uh, of looking at it with equations of physics. I talk a lot in the book about these controversies and it, it's fascinating how even quantum mechanics itself leaving consciousness out of it is something that the world's leading physicists still argue about a hundred years yes. in. And, and um, I think really, my, if I had to put my money on where the crux of the matter is that people is, are ultimately stuck on, I think it's consciousness. Um, I'll finish now with this. I'm very glad I have you here for the last few minutes so I can finally get answers from you or at least raise more questions. I ask people, what is life? And they say, it's biology. Agreed? At least our experience of life is wow. biology. I think life is really the single most important thing there is in our, in our cosmos because, as I said, if, that, if there were no life, in particular if there were no consciousness, it would all be just a giant waste of space. And, I, and biology is biochemistry? Biology is, uh, I mean, if I, if I want to be uh, an arrogant physicist, no, <laughs> I, would, then, I could say that chemistry is applied physics uh, and bi biology is applied chemistry. And then uh, the applied physics is quantum mechanics and quantum mechanics is mathematics. Mm -hmm. Where's mathematics? So I feel, I explore in the book the idea that ultimately it's all completely mathematical and, and that uh, ultimately the, by, there are these remarkable patterns which mathematics can capture which, which if they're sufficiently complex will even feel conscious and have these sort of conversations and, and Is wonder about what they are. Is mathematics an activity in consciousness? And then uh, these mathematical entities that are conscious will, of course, start questioning what they are. And they will, they will have this activity to, to try to figure out all these patterns. And they will, in turn, call that mathematics. And so the circle <laughs> closes.